that I'll drive down the street and someone will roll down the window and go, is that the Tupac live and die in LA car? And the conversation starts from there. What makes this car unique is he passed right after they used it and nobody ever put it back on the street. I remember the first time I was ever in a hydraulic car, I was hooked. I would do anything to get it. So when Lloyd found the car for sale two years ago, he couldn't wait to buy it and drive it home. But the current owner suggested he towed it. And I said, man, anything that starts has wheels on it, you don't even need brakes. I can drive it, no problem. He's like, no, nah, I wouldn't recommend it. So he towed it to my house. I paid the guy the money. He dropped it off the trailer. The car started, ran, everything sounded perfect. As soon as he leaves, I tell my friends, hey, jump in, let's go for a ride. And we make it about a mile. Everything seizes, the engine turns off, I hear all this noise in my transmission, the planetary gears completely explode. Ironically, when the 61 Impala was featured in Tupac's video, it wasn't a true lowrider. The production team had just made it look low by loading it with sandbags. But Lloyd wanted his car to be the ultimate LA ride, so he swapped out the engine and transmission and fitted the car with some top-end hydraulics. I added all the gold Chevrolet pieces, the gold wings, the purple halo headlights to give it that Los Angeles Lakers flavor. I went over to this performance shop. I really wanted to add a new heart to it because it originally had the 283 V8 and no matter what I did to it, I wasn't getting the power that I wanted. And I bought this Blueprint 350. I got a 350 turbo transmission, the upgraded power steering, the Champions aluminum radiator. We're low riders and we like to go slow and low. But every once in a while when I need to get over in traffic, I give it some gas and I can feel the power. It's a lot better than that 283. Those are my favorite wheels, 13 inch gold Dayton's. I had the chips custom made. Usually Dayton comes with red lettering. I had this one done in yellow to match the car. I had the custom console made and I had the steering wheel dipped in gold. I added the purple cabin lights in the trunk, the cabin, and on the tips of the antenna just to kind of continue that Laker vibe all the way through. And this is my hydraulic system. These are the motors. These are the tanks, and inside here is the gear. If you're ever gonna do any low riding and wanna hop, you want a Versace gear and an ADEX to the front. And these are the slowdowns. Both of these control the speed at which your car drops. This is where all the power's at, right here. To be able to say it was a Tupac car, obviously I love Tupac, but to me it being a 1961, bright yellow, convertible, gold, everything, that's what makes it special to me. It's hard not to notice. I took it to the next level because that's just how I wanted it. I don't ever want to just have average. If I'm going to have it, I want to have the best of the best or at least be up there with the best. When I pull up to a light and there's a bunch of kids and they're into lowriders and they say hit the switch, I'll bounce it right there, you know, and they're all cheering and laughing. I love that part of it. 